Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with his glory. The earth is filled with his glory. Holy is Yahweh, God Almighty. And the earth is filled with his glory. Holy is Yahweh, King of glory, and the earth is filled with his glory. Father, have your way this time. We are in your presence to hear from you. Speak to our hearts, speak to our soul, speak to our intellect speak to our body let everything within us vibrate with the energy that flows from your word the word that is eternal word that is all powerful the word that you send and heal therefore let our psychosis be healed let our minds be healed let our spirit be healed let our bodies be healed let our sight be healed. Give you glory and praise. You that do mighty wonders pass searching out. You are the Allahim of wonders. Manifest your wonders in the lives of your people from this time forward. But these are the days that has been in expectation and in waiting for some time. We have been expecting these days to arrive. And behold, the days of your power are here. The days of your glory are here. The days of your manifestations are here. And the scripture says, they that wait upon Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They that wait on Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall soar by the wings of eagles. Let the wind of heaven, Father, lift us above and may we soar effortlessly like the ego world once he senses the wind we thank you for it is the wind for our good even though it may be issues for the world but the wind is for our good we give you praise for your worthy yahushua's mighty name and we all say hallelujah 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 welcome you all again Welcome you all again. I feel a bit different, and therefore I may veer off and on, but it is good. So it has been expected. All of us have been talking about it. In fact, in my house here, we've been discussing it and waiting for her to pass because we knew she was passing. We've been saying she has to go. She has to go. But there is something about her departure that is interesting. 
And every prophet knows what I'm talking about. I may not be the only one that will say what you're going to hear. Many prophets will speak about it in different ways and paint different pictures using different brush. But ultimately, we are all going towards one thing. We are all going towards the same thing. The departure of the woman who has been there as a great tree, an old oak, even though dried and shriveled, but standing strong for such a long time, is very important and very interesting. And it is pointing to the beginning of the unraveling of many things. Many things are going to be unraveled. Oh, Shabaya. You are going to see many political alliances break up. You are going to see new alliances forge, as I spoke earlier in the year. This is the sign that it is the time. Now, going forward, you are going to see breaking away of many in the alliance, and new ones will be forged. Powers will be shifted. Tables will be turned. Friends will become enemies. Enemies will become friends. This is because the very great tree that was holding many of the soil together has fallen. And whatever is going to stand in her place is not going to be able to take the same shape. And therefore, a lot of birds that have been taking shelter under this tree, a lot of animals that have been taking shelter under this tree, a lot of, a lot of them are going to look for somewhere else to take shelter. And several of the other trees standing beneath it are going to feel the heat a little bit stronger because the tree has been cut down. And so several of the other grasses, other trees, that have been standing beneath it and taking shade and using it to hang on and pass by. They are going to feel the heat. Yeah, the, 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 the harshness of the weather conditions will get to them much more than they can ever imagine and they ever anticipated that it will be. Some of them are prepared. Some will quickly switch to another, but some are not and therefore it will take them unawares. And some of them will be eroded because as the wind comes, since they are not prepared, some of those trees will break. And as the rain will come and the flood will flow because they were not prepared, the flood will carry some of those trees away. Some of those grasses will be carried away. They will be eroded. They will be swept off their positions. Why? Because this is the time of the unraveling of many things. Oh, and the sins of many generations shall be visited. And Yahuwah shall visit the sins of some generations past. Some things will be visited. Some innocent blood that have been speaking and speaking and speaking. This is time for their voices to be heard in the heavenlies. And judgments will be revealed and released, and justice will also flow. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Vultures, vultures, vultures. Some vultures started to go and no more just eat the dead things that they are apportioned. They started to carry living things. And Yahuwah said, vultures, you are not to carry living things. The eagles are created for the living things. The eagles are not to be eating the dead things. The vultures should eat the dead things. But some of these vultures started to go and carry the chicks and carry the living things. And now it shall be a visitation for these vultures. Some of them will have to vomit what they have taken. And some of them will have to dry up. Some of them will die. Voices will be shocked. I see voice closed, jaw closed, and boom, pataina, die. 
Most High is going to do amazing things. Why? It's a special season. It will come with some wind that everybody will feel. Because look, what I'm telling you is going to begin to go around the world. This is because this tree is connected to all the nations, or rather all the continents of the world. Okay? This tree is connected to Asia. This tree is connected to the Americas in Canada. This tree is connected to Australia. This tree is connected to Africa. This tree is connected even to South America. Therefore, you are going to have the influence that I'm talking about go around. Very interesting. Very interesting. Hallelujah. Blessed be the most high that speaketh. May his word be true. Hallelujah. May his word be preeminent. Hallelujah. May the liberation of the righteous, they that have been weeping for years and asking for freedom, may it come. Even in these days that we are going in, it is the beginning of the manifestations of many things that have been asked for. And the Father said, yes, but wait a while. We give you praise. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We should by the name. Hallelujah. I'm going to read for you 2 Kings. 2 Kings chapter 14. I'm going to read for you verse 23 to 27. Oh, yeah. 23 to 27. In the 15th year of Amaziah, the son of Yoash, Yoash or Joash, as you would. All right? Yoash. Mm. All right? King of Judah. Jeroboam, the son of Joash, again, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria and reigned 41 years. Verse 24, and he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah. He departed not from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat who made Israel to sin. Mm. He restored the coast of Israel from the entering of Hamath unto the sea of the plain, according to the word of Yah Most High of Israel, which he spake by the hand of his servant, Jonah, the son of Amitai, the prophet, which was of Gath Hepha. Verse 26. For Yahuwah saw the affliction of Israel, that it was very bitter. For there was not any shut up, nor any left, nor any helper for Israel. And Yahuwah said not that he would blot out the name of Israel from under the heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash. This, I am stopping at verse 27. Something interesting happened to me this morning. I woke up with this passage ringing in my heart. As the presence of the Holy Spirit was strong upon me. And as I read this, my heart was just seeing King Charles. So he's no more prince. He's already crowned. King Charles. And I'm making bold this afternoon that we are going to declare the things that we're going to see here to manifest. There are bad things, 
there are good things. Mm -hmm. My and there are bad things. And there are good things. I will be short so that we will pray. So we start back from verse 23 to 27 again. Verse 23. Look at what he says. In the fifteenth <clears throat> year of Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria. And he reigned 41 years. My interest in this is just for us to see that there are two Jeroboam being spoken about here in this passage. So in verse 23, we are looking at Jeroboam, the son of Joash, who took over from his father during the time that Amaziah, the son of also Joash, was king. This is the Jeroboam we are talking about. And this Jeroboam, in verse 24, the Bible says, he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Because he did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam. Another Jeroboam, a very, very older one that ruled from the time that the kingdom was divided, torn into two from the hands of Shlomo or Solomon. This, this Jeroboam was the son of Neba, who made Israel to sin. This Jeroboam led Israel into a very terrible idol worship and made statues for Israel to bow down and worship the devil himself. This was what that Jeroboam was known for. But notice that this Jeroboam did not depart from the same evil. And all the sins of Jeroboam that followed that idol worship, that idol worship was followed with all kinds of fornication, and immorality, it was followed with all kinds of stealing and oppression of the poor. It was followed with all kinds of willful breaking of the laws of the Most High. It was followed with all kinds of belief systems that thrive in Israel, that was the sin of Jeroboam that enthroned witchcraft, sorcery, all kinds of necromancy, that enthroned all kinds of blood sacrifices, that enthroned all kinds of evil in Israel. The Bible says this very Jeroboam of Joash, the son of Joash, that started to reign in the time of Amaziah, the son of Joash, this Jeroboam did not depart from them. Now hear this. There has been enthroned evil that has been over the throne for some time. And I want you to know that this king that just stepped in is not gonna depart from any of them. In fact, he is going to give them liberty to thrive much more stronger than ever before. He is going to open his arms and welcome them. He is going to give them stronger authority. But in all these, Look at verse 25, rather. Verse 25, he says, He restored the coast of Israel 
from the entering of Hamath unto the sea of the plain, according to the word of Yah, the Most High of Israel, which he spake by the hand of his servant Jonah, the son of Amatai, the prophet, which was of Gathiva. He did some political things that in political arena was okay for the people to at least have something good to remember him. Therefore, this king is also going to attempt to do some things to restore some, you know, good stuff for the nation. Restore political, uh, how to say, Godfatherism for the nation. That political Godfatherism that he will try to restore, of course, is now finally going to fall into the hands of William. And that is a very important thing for you to remember because it is going to be the paving of the way for William. Now, but there is going to be some harsh times. For in verse 26, Yahuwah saw the affliction of Israel in his hands. Israel was afflicted. Believers will be afflicted. Churches will be afflicted. Ministers will be afflicted. Oh yeah, not that they have not been afflicted before now, but will get much more pronounced. Oh yeah. And then the Hebrew Israelites will also be afflicted by him. But one good news lies in the same 26 and 27. Even though there will be seemingly no one to help, there will seem not to be any way to succor. But 27 says, and the Lord said now that he would blot out the name of Israel under heaven, but save them by the hand of Jeroboam. The same man is going to somehow do certain things that will be outstanding. So you're going to see a soul that went forward, all of a sudden swing backward. The same man is going to somehow do some things that unbeknown or knowingly will be a great blessing. A great blessing for the believers and for the house of Hebrew Israelites. I'm expecting it. This one, I am expecting it. That this man will be the one that will say, well, let's allow the Hebrew Israelite go. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it. And the man is going to say, well, we have made a lot of money already out of Africa. Africa should be led to be free. Hmm. I'm expecting that out of trying to make a great name for himself, because he's going to see that every other thing he has done is not given the kind of reputation that his mother had. And wanting to make a great name as his mother or some other king before his mother, he's going to take a step that will be a shock to the hegemonic clandestine power hungry people that has colonized the earth and held it tightly so that liberty will flow and flow around. This I believe and this we will set before our eyes and declare in prayer that the Most High shall move his heart that way. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, that this angel that brought this message will not rest until this is done. So I declare, so I declare. 
so I declare. Now, we are going to take seven minutes. This is 12.33. We will pray from now to 12.40. And that is our prayer. Father, everything that has been declared, let it be so. Seven minutes. Let's begin to pray. Shikata brande. Nebrande ba shakatai la ba yakasha brande. Father, in the mighty name of Yahusha Mashiach, King of all the universe, I declare that as it has been said, as your angel has brought this word to me, so it is established, so it shall be. The King Charles, in the mighty name of Yahusha Mashiach, amongst all, shall be the man that shall say, let my people go. Shall be the man that shall say, let Africa be free. Shabid Manda shall say, let Ndibo go. E kabaresh kaba, zeke telebrande. E shabid Manda shall say, yes, the pains of colonialism has been too heavy and must be lightened. It must be lightened up. He shabayanama kukaria askete. Ishketele se palibrande by kashapa. Father, in the mighty name of Yahusha Mashak, I thank you that the same spirit, the same angel that brought this word shall move and give him that ambition. Give him that ambition. Give him that ambition. Father, in the mighty name of Yahushua Mashiach, I thank you. I thank you because I know that thou hearest me. Father, I know, oh Father, that the wind will blow. I know that the floods will come. I know, oh Father, that all those trees that has been hiding behind that great tree that was caught will feel, they will feel your move in this time. In the mighty name of Yahusha Mashiach, let not anyone that you have decided to visit be spared. In the mighty name of Yahusha Mashiach, Father, let the floor erode those that must be eroded so that the truth shall be manifested. Every tree that has been hiding the truth, let it be eroded and carried away. Oh, yes. Let those soil, all those soils that have been covering the truth, let them be eroded so that the truth shall be manifested and be uncovered. Mm -hmm. And so that the light will penetrate and life will again resurface and hope shall rise strong in the hearts of many mm -hmm. and joy shall be returned to many and chains shall be cut off from the hands and from the legs of many. And even though it may be a short while, Father, but yet shall he bring praise to your name and bring glory to your name. For I see that many shall rejoice greatly from coast to coast, from nation to nation. Many will throw their hands and rejoice. And, and some shall begin to build new alliances and rebuild the walls that we are torn down. And some shall begin to build new nations. And, and some shall begin to regroup themselves and form new nations and form new alliances. And nations shall say, we want to tie ourselves to this one and tie ourselves to this one. And they shall build new alliances and new nations shall be formed. New names shall be called. My father and your name shall be glorified. And those shall be made strong and some shall be made weak. As it pleases you, O Father, for your will shall surely be established. I give you praise for you are the most high. Your words are without contestation for whatever you have decreed, so it shall shall be. Yes, 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 yes. Let it be a time, oh Father, that the sword, even the mighty sword, shall be brought low. Yes, so that the fearful that have been so afraid of the mighty sword shall now walk free. Yes, let that mighty sword be brought low. Let that mighty sword that's that has been flying round the skies and, and terrifying the nations and, and terrifying men and women. Let it be brought low. Let it be brought low. Yes, let it now be brought to rest in the mighty name of Yahushua Mashiach. Don't it be for a while, but let it rest so that there shall be peace in the hearts of many. And so that many shall see the light of heaven, so that some people can look up to the heavens and say, surely we trusted in Yahuwah, and he has heard us. And iniquity shall be uncovered, and many shall take up their small knives and cut off the root of iniquity. 
so that iniquity will be rolled up from certain places and rolled away so that many shall walk in your laws and commandments and, and walk in your righteousness and declare your glory. Father, in the mighty name of Yahusha Mashiach, we thank you. We thank you for the believers all over the world. We thank you for the church of the firstborn. We thank you, oh Father, for as many as are seeking you in truth. Oh, my Father, I thank you. For there shall be a wind, a wind, a wind, a wind that will shake the trees of prosperity. And the fruits of prosperity shall fall for these ones that believe. And they shall gather, but not in fear. And they shall eat in rejoicing. And they shall share with one another. And there shall be no destitute among those that you are causing these fruits of prosperity to fall for. In the mighty name of Yahusha, Ha Mashiaka, Ha, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the riders thereof, I see and I see and I praise. For your praise shall be from eternity to eternity. Who can be compared to you? Thou that reigneth forever and ever. Thou that reigneth forever and ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I banish to the pit every foul devil that is standing to oppose what you have set forth and declared by the mouth of your many prophets. I banish every forces that will stand to oppose. Let the wind carry them. Thank you that the vultures will be judged. Thank you that the vultures will be judged. Thank you that the, hey, thank you. For that very rod that shall break the heads of the vultures is already released and it is marching forward. Blessed be your holy name. Glory to your holy name. Thank you that your people will rejoice. And many shall build strong agreements and strong properties that shall help the poor and the needy and keep many in your righteousness so that the generation shall be saved. We give you praise. Yeah, we share mighty name and we say hallelujah. hallelujah. Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. I will speak shortly on this. Hopefully tomorrow will be different. There is a season of fruitfulness for the church that is coming. In all these things that are happening, you know, you know, Isaiah puts this in a very wonderful way. Isaiah says, darkness shall cover the earth. In chapter 60, and he says, gross darkness shall cover the people. He now says, but the glory of the Most High shall arise over his own. As I paraphrased it. Now, in all these that are going to happen in the world, in all the financial stuff that is going to come, you're going to see glory come for the church. You're going to see glory come. You know, the plan to dislodge certain things. There is a wealth, some people will call it wealth transfer. I call it wealth release or abundant release. Uh, because Transfer will seem as if God, most high, is taking from some other people to give to some other. Yes, that will be happening too. But remember, the earth belongs to the most high and everything in it. Therefore, the most high giving his abundance to somebody. Whoever was dispossessed, cannot claim to have anything. Because everything belongs to the Most High. The Most High is doing it. Who can claim anything belongs to him? Who was born into this world, carrying money in his mother's womb, carrying gold and silver, carrying cars and clothing, carrying cars, uh, houses? Nobody. Everybody came naked. Everybody will go back naked. So man has nothing. So whatever, whatever we receive 
we were given just to be custodians and managers of whatever we receive. And all those that have this mindset are going to be blessed. All those that shall have the mindset that they are governors, managers, that they are to be stewards of the abundance of the Most High to help people around them, they are going to be blessed. Because that mindset is what is going to attract the angels. Some have already been tested. Some of us have been tested for a long period of time already. Most I've been testing you, proving you that you are not going to hoard his resources. Whether it is wisdom and understanding, knowledge, whether it is finances, whether it is food, whether it is good leadership, the Most High has been testing people. And so some are ready. Some are still being proven. But this abundance will come. And it will come in batches. It will also come in stages. Some will receive a little. So that the most I will see if they are going to do it well or not before the greater one will come and greater one will come and greater one will come. So I was in this vision and I saw a brother carrying a big basket of so many ripe fruits. And I said to him, wow, this is fruitfulness. And he says, yes, it's amazing. It's all over. And I said, I'm going to get my own. And I started moving towards the place to carry my own big basket. And I got up. This means set your eyes on what is right. According to Most High's design and purpose. Set your eyes on what is right. Imagine what is right. Because those that are prepared and ready are going into a new dimension. With all the things that will be happening, they will become helpers of the kingdom people. Helpers of the kingdom people. So a great abundance is coming. A wind of fruitfulness that is blowing. Father, let me not miss it. Give me the understanding to move in the direction that I must in your word, in your covenant, so that I will walk with you as demanded and be blessed. Use me in the season coming as one that shall be a branch that shall maintain other branches. There are branches that have to be carried, but there are branches that have become so strong that they can carry several other branches. Father, make me a branch that can carry other branches and supply nutrients to other branches. In this season, I thank you. Let us begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. Librande shakata libra kapaka sobronde. Lereke te seba librande bayaka shakata. Laboro shande eskute librande bayaka shakata ilabaya. Maso baya kashendelebo. Ze palo braniande ika talabo shanda brania kapaka seli brandika baya kasha. Esh ke brandika pa sobra yamako sobro inde bayana masondi. Le balia brania kaparo obazi ke telibrani mayande. Father, I am moving to gather my own fruits. To carry those fruits that you are releasing. All these ripe fruits that I see are they not for your people to gather? My father, allow me to be part of the gatherers, O oh father. For fruitfulness is designed for those that be with you, for those that work with you. You have given them the fruitfulness of this hour. Transformation assembly, O oh father, be made. Father, a gatherer, a gatherer of the fruitfulness that you are releasing in this very season. 
Grant us the grace, grant us the anointing, grant us the, the, the strength, the wisdom, understanding in the mighty name of Yahushua Mashiach. Father, thank you for breaking away every chain that is holding people bound from moving into the fruitfulness of the hour. Mm. Father, I thank you for the outpour of your Holy Spirit mm. in a mighty way, the prophetic grace that you are releasing over us to walk in your mighty ways, in your wisdom in this hour. Father, we know that the wind is blowing already and the earth shall fill it. But your people, your assembly, even the, 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 the assembly of Yahusha Mashiach shall rejoice in his covering. I thank you, O oh Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. There are many of your children listening to me now who already have heard your word and is resounding in their hearts. In different ways, you are telling them what to do. Some you are calling to repentance. Some you are calling to move forward. Some you are calling to recognize that their chains are not yet broken away. And some you are telling the chains are broken. They should move out from the place of the chain. Some you are telling go and gather. Some you are giving the understanding of what they must begin to do. Father, I pray right now for the strength, for the strength and for the wisdom that shall help them do and follow step by step how you have directed. For Abraham obeyed your voice. Abraham obeyed your charge. Abraham kept your commandments. Abraham kept your statutes. Abraham kept your laws. These five very embodiment of the full grace. Let it rest over us, the full grace of Yahusha Mashiach, mm -hmm. that we walk in this grace, O oh Father. We thank you. We thank you. May your name be exalted over us. We give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yahusha Mashiach, we pray and we all say hallelujah.